Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me not far away from my last episode. So I'm still in Cork Harbour and I'm now up on the hill above Roaches Point Lighthouse and I'm here for sunset. And like I would have said in my last episode, I really do think that today is going to be a very, very good sunset and a big sky sunset as well for that. So I've decided to come up above the lighthouse and take some shots of that with a very, very big and hopefully very colorful sky above me. Now, the clouds at the moment are quite interesting, actually. There's a rays of light that are coming through over here behind my shoulder and out to sea as well. There's some nice colors that are already starting. So I do think that it's going to be a good shoot here today. So I'm going to get set up and uh, yeah, I'll talk you through my composition. Probably not going to change many compositions actually today. So it might only be one composition, but with many different types of light. So yeah, let's go. Let's see how today's adventure goes. So here's my composition now that I'm going to have for the evening. And as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm utilizing the headland that's coming up here. You've got some old towers that are on the left hand side. There's a ship anchored as well nicely here. And as you can see, the sky is going to be really, really nice, I hope. Now I'm using manual focus here on the EOS R and you can see that the screen here goes red for where it's in focus. Now, if I just change that, you'll see that there's these little arrows. And as the arrows come together and point to green, it'll tell you that position then is perfectly in focus. And then also you'll have the areas going red as well, so you know that it's in focus overall. Now at the moment here, I'm at f11 and 120th of a second, and that's telling me that it's slightly overexposed. So if I just adjust here, I'll get more detail in the sky, and then I'll just take that shot here. And now if we review this image, and we double tap on this, you'll be able to see here that I have the lighthouse, that's perfectly sharp. And also as well, I'm getting some nice detail in that sky that's above. So hopefully now as the sun will actually break through a bank that we see here at the moment, I might get a first blush of color anyway, but it's definitely going to be a, a nice evening here, I think in Roaches Point, and this sky is going to be phenomenal. Now I'm taking some fast shutters here. I might actually take some long shutters as well, even though this doesn't need smoothing out in the water area here, it still might be nice to be able to have that. But again, depending on the clouds, I may not actually have to do that. But yeah, that's my composition here for this evening. If I go back into my uh, live view here and I make this a bit brighter, you'll be able to see here the detail that I have below me on this lighthouse as well. And now also as well as the second ship now as well coming in here, I think that might be actually coming in. So I might get that as it comes across here as well into the frame. And what I'm also doing as well by this is I've got separation. So there's nothing really here if I show you on the overall lighthouse. The top of the lighthouse here is not intersecting on the headland that's in the distance. And then more importantly, as I look over here towards where these ships are, I've got everything in focus in the, in the foreground. And because I'm at infinity, these ships will also be in focus as well. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be shooting this evening. Hopefully, like I said, this uh, sky will kick off. I mean, if I bring it back down again here, just to give you an idea of the detail that I have in that sky, it's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, there's my composition. We'll wait now for the light.
Now, the lighthouse light has just come on here as well, so you may be able to see it here blinking. Um, and what that's going to basically do for me here is be able to give me a nice, different aspect within the actual image. Now, I've changed my F as well to F16 to be able to get a small bit of a sun star from that light. But the sky now as well, I do think, I don't know if you can pick it up on this camera or not here, but all around me actually here at the moment, we're looking like it's going to kick off. It's on touch and go really, but on this side over here, there's a bank of clouds that the sun has gone into so hopefully now the sun will light up those get beneath them and this whole sky will be light bright red that'll be perfect in relation to this shot anyway now what i'm also doing as well uh, on this camera my main camera here is i've set up a time lapse so i'm doing uh, to catch all that color as it increases hopefully and goes bright crimson red as well wishful thinking fingers crossed that it does do that because if it does i think it'll be a phenomenal photograph As you can see by the sky right behind me here, it did have a bit of color, but nothing as big as I thought it was going to be. I did get some nice light in the distance there as well over the lighthouse. And now what I'm waiting for is the sun to finally settle because I think I may still get a nice bit of an afterglow after the sun goes down. It might light up the top of those clouds. Who knows? I live in hope anyway, I suppose, in relation to that. Some of the shots that I've taken as well here uh, have been quite nice because the light has come on in the lighthouse and now as well what that does is just gives a little bit of extra like I said earlier on to the image. I did take one longer exposure shot as well just to be able to see because there's a bit of a channel of water that's coming around the lighthouse that might be nice as well. Also all around me there was beautiful colour but nothing really to uh, focus on within that colour and behind you now as well so on the eastern side I can see the belt to Venus so there's a bit of a clear sky there so you know I think um, the light is effectively is almost gone but like I said I'll wait now just to see is there a final blush that comes from behind the clouds that are here behind me. So oh, the light is well and truly gone now. I've waited into blue hour and I do think actually I got a couple of nice shots as well in blue hour because of the light being lit up on the lighthouse. It's been an interesting evening. Didn't go as crazy, but it was still nice nonetheless. I think I actually got some really, really nice colour. I was reviewing some of the images there and there'll be some nice colour as well behind the lighthouse. So I hope you enjoyed coming along on this second trip uh, to Cork Harbour and to Roaches Point Lighthouse. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time, Schlange folgen.